Hey, hey, this is Free Bird Fun Day from the Free Life Experience, and we have the Artful Dodger here. Hello. <laughs> How's everybody? Mother was an artist, although she was never like a money making artist, like my birth mother was, who was the watercolor artist who was the one who literally put the camera in my hands and was like, here, you're no longer a criminal. You're gonna you're gonna be an artist because you know, we're a family of artists. And so she literally saved my life. I was a when I was 17, 18 years old, I was a wretched little shit. I mean it was I was heading down the wrong path. And she made me turn that corner. Says you're an artist now. Favorite book, uh, Seth Material by Jane Roberts, which is channeled work. Uh, there's a book called A Solitary Witch by Silver Ravenwolf. Uh, other than that, books, uh, political books, I like uh, anything anything against Monsanto. Monsanto is evil in my eyes. Greatest villain of my time? Real life. Dick Cheney. It's all you need to say. Enough said. Enough said. Dick Cheney. No. Uh, it, it does help to have a muse, it does help to have support. But nobody can tell you to paint. Nobody mm -hmm. can really, I mean, you can be inspired, but nobody really tells you to paint. You just fucking feel that drive to get it out. And that's why it doesn't feel like a job. That's what you makes it, do, yeah. that's what makes it great, is it doesn't feel like a job. I'm just, you know, I'm throwing that shit down, and it's coming out, and I mean, to be an, to be an artist, to take that one dimensional thought and to either bring it out to a two dimensional canvas or a three dimensional sculpture, or three dimensional, or, or even more dimensions with sound, or you know, and with video, and you know, and with movies. My gosh, it just art has branched off into so many ways. It's branched off into so many ways. I've lost my train of thought. Like what the hell we were talking about? The hurdle. Oh, about the hurdle. Was was mass marketing, and then and and that's another reason that that I came west was because Denver is just a it's a big metropolis. But it's not like the South. I like the South. I like the beaches, but it's not the most uncorrupt of places, if I should say that nicely. So I had to get out, get somewhere where where art is looked at and looked at well, and especially with the Santa Fe Art District, which just you know brought thousands of people to look at my work because as souls were all just consciousness is expanding in all directions at all the same time time is pointless <sighs> but and and that applies to art and once again I lost my train of thought so. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good train though I like that train what? I was on that train I, I, I was on the train with you I was on the train with you so um well Let's talk about uh, your art style, the, the style that you're, you're, you're caught up in right now. What, 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 what would you say most of your pieces are? I would, I would have to call it psychedelic abstract. Okay. Unless, unless I'm painting real, I don't even know if you would want to call it realism. I haven't studied art history enough. I mean, I find art history very interesting, and the older that I get, I find it, you know, it's becoming more and more interesting to learn what other artists did and how they, and how they lived. And, and especially, I don't feel so bad living, living a kind of dishuffled life, or living a life where, you know, I have my ups and downs, because, you know, a lot of these people were, were starving just like I was, just to get by. But they would do whatever the fuck they could to scrounge that last can of paint that put some shit on some canvas yeah. and that's the drive and you can't stop that you right. can't stop a person from doing that what was that quote you said earlier about, was it something about sanity oh sanity is acceptable in the world of art it's an acceptable insanity an acceptable insanity yeah being an artist is an acceptable insanity Uh, Santa Fe Boulevard at the Colorado uh, Art Center, and that's between 8th and 9th Avenue on Santa Fe. And I have a, a wall on the left side, and, and I, I kind of like it. It's a 
Nice.